the the shit that was already going on in the world, you know, the the, the gang bang in the streets, the killings, the you know, all this type of shit. So as you seeing <clears throat> excuse me, more and more people die, you know what I mean? You start a, well you should, you know what I mean, start appreciating life more, you know what I mean? Start appreciating the simple things, you know what I mean? Take the time to smell the roses, you know what I mean? So, you know, once I start realizing certain shit, like, you know what? I'm so worried about death. I need to live because death is going to come for everybody one day. That's something that you really don't have to worry about. Like, you're going to die one day. So are you going to stress over it? Are you going to rest yourself there? Or are you going to enjoy the life that you have? So I started really enjoying, like, appreciating life, man, especially, you know what I'm saying, survive being shot, surviving open-heart surgery, surviving gangbanging, you know what I mean, all these different things. It made me really just – I start appreciating life and realizing uh, you only get one shot at this thing. Like, you feel me? So appreciate it. Because once you, you know what I'm saying? Once you close your eyes, your eyes are closed forever. There's no coming back. You feel me? And Snoopy, it. it's over. And, and Snoopy, when you mention your open heart surgery, that is especially poignant for you because <clears throat> they found cancer during your surgery, I believe. Did they not? Uh, no, it wasn't cancerous. That's that's why I had the surgery so they so that they okay. could see if it was cancerous or not. But no, I had a tumor on my heart. You feel me? And um, oh, yeah, that shit was scary, man. Because like I said, I got shot. So when I'm in the hospital, for one thing, the where 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 I had got shot at and where the bullet traveled, it had you know hit me in the back, pierced my lung. So to do an X-ray on my chest. So when they did that X-ray on my chest, that's when they seen something that wasn't normal so they're like right. well you know you know I'm, I'm in there like okay i survived this and then you know imagine the doctor coming in the room and saying well you know we found this and we need to and i'm like what the fuck like you know i'm still consider myself a young man i'm thinking open heart surgery was a old person thing like you feel me so it's like what what like what so like i said i'm going back and forth to the doctor taking you know different little tests and shit and you know, they they like, you know, we you got a tumor in your heart. We don't know what it is, you know, blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that, but we need to get it out, you know what I mean? So it was like a really a blessing uh, being shot because I wouldn't have even knew about the tumor. I just would have been probably on the phone talking to y'all or talking to somebody and just dropped dead and nobody would ever knew. You feel me? So, yeah, they, they removed it. Um, you know, thank God it wasn't cancerous, you feel me? But, you know, the surgery was a success, and um, here I am. You know, so that, like I said, those are things that make you really appreciate life. You know what I mean? When you think you're about to die or you don't know if you're going to die, you, you you start appreciating shit. You feel me? And like I said, I start like, you know what? I'm out here, you know, I dedicated my life to the streets. I'm out here fighting. I'm out here involved in this bullshit and that bullshit. And it's like, man, what, what, what are you living for? So like I said, when life really came to a halt and it's like, nigga, this might be it. What did you have to look back on? What legacy have you left? And it was nothing but drama and bullshit. It was like, man, let me switch this shit up. You feel me? Let me leave something positive behind. You feel me? When they mention my name, they can mention something good. You know what I mean? It won't be all bad. Like, you know what I mean? So, like I said, that shit was scary. But, you know, I'm a praying man. I'm a strong believer in God. He brought me through it. And like I said, here I am. He got work for me to do.